Aloha, Hawaii, and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Dose. I'm Brooks Bear. I work here at the Department of Health. And today we've got a brand new feature to tell you about, a visualization that should help all of you who are trying to track our progress as far as vaccinations in the state of Hawaii. We've got a new tool on our website that shows you where we're vaccinating people. This community is doing really well in vaccinations, and in this community, perhaps, we've got more work to do. And here to tell you all about it is our in-house data guru himself, none other than epidemiologist Josh Quince. Welcome back to the Weekly Dose, Josh. Thanks, Brooks. I appreciate it. Um, uh, question number one, why are we doing this zip code by zip code thing? Yeah, so we can learn a lot from the data and we wanna share the data back to the community so that folks can be informed. You know, we've been tracking for a while the COVID information, looking at the average daily new cases per day, tracking seven day averages, and we can see the trends over time. For instance, right now the state's tracking at 55, 1.1% positivity. And then we can look into more detail and see what's going on in the individual counties. Well, we can do that same thing when we think about vaccination. So on a real big picture statewide, we know that there's been over a million and a half vaccinations given individual doses, and that's up 24,000 from what we reported last Friday. And that represents 52% of the state's total population having completed their full vaccine series. So that's excellent news, but then it makes us wonder, well, how is it going throughout the state? And we currently have been showing this data. Uh, you can look onto our vaccine dashboard and identify the counties and see how they compare county to county. And when we look at that, we do notice that the counties are all tracking pretty close. Uh, Hawaii County is at 55% initiated, Honolulu County 54%, Kauai County 58%, and Maui County 55%. But then again, we might ask, well, what's going on within the counties on each island? And that's where the zip code map is gonna give us a lot of rich information to identify, just as you said, where the areas that need maybe a little more work to be done. And that's what we're gonna step through today. So we can actually find this zip code information right here on this same data dashboard, which is the Disease Outbreak Control Division data dash. Yep, that's right. So, and it'll be updated along with all the other information every day. We've got it organized here. Uh, it's going to be a new tab along the bottom. We currently have the county tab. You'll be able to see a zip code tab that pops up. And along the left-hand side, you get to choose the county that you want to zoom in on and get more detailed information. So we're starting out here looking at Honolulu County. We know that there's been about 51% of the population has initiated their vaccination. That's the default view. And then we can hover around and explore what's going on in each individual community or zip code area. And we'll find that, you know, some areas are on the high end of the spectrum, vaccinating at a rate of over 70%, which is outstanding. But then uh, we can go down and see a gradient and find that uh, there's some places that are a little bit less, less, and then uh, some areas lagging at a rate of about 35%. And that's where we want to really devote more energy and more resources into making the vaccine more eligible and available and accessible in those areas. Gotcha. So looking at Oahu, I see some, some areas uh, in the dark, dark green. For example, up there in Haula, uh, that, that is interesting and delightful to see that um, folks on the, up on the uh, uh, northern end of uh, the windward side are, are vaccinating themselves at a, a tremendous rate. And then, yeah, there's another one right down there. That's uh, That looks like downtown Honolulu and up into uh, Nu'uanu, uh, high vaccination rates there. And, and also kind of the, the Waialai uh, Kahala area out to perhaps Niu Valley. Uh, again, high vaccination rates out there. But we, we do see some lighter areas of uh, Central Oahu, uh, Wailua. Uh, yeah, look at that, Kapolei. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we're still in progress here. The effort is not over. This is just a point in time snapshot. And we expect that with this information, we're going to see a lot of improvement in these areas. But it's all about getting the information back out to the community so that we can realign resources in that way. Okay, now there are a couple spots on the map where it's 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 kind of gray or, or, or beige, I, you know, like it looks like Pearl Harbor, 
Uh, I don't see that color uh, on the legends to the right. What, is, what does that mean? What's going on there in the Pearl Harbor area? Yeah, so we have really complete data, but one of the areas that we don't have good data on is the uh, vaccinations given by our military partners. So uh, when it comes to those areas, since we don't have that detailed information, uh, we just go ahead and exclude those areas from the map. And we do know that people are getting vaccinated uh, through uh, the Department of Defense and Veterans Health. Uh, we just don't have that information. So we're, we go ahead and exclude them from our maps at this time. Uh, Josh, what you just showed me is the uh, Honolulu map for vaccinations initiated, but that's just one of the two views. What about vaccinations completed? Yeah, you know, early on, we were mainly tracking people that were initiating their vaccination because that was, it mean, meant that you started on the series and you started on the path. And we have been seeing consistently throughout that people who start their vaccination will go on to complete it. But ultimately, we don't just want partially vaccinated people, we want completely vaccinated people. So the metric that we're gonna be tracking in the long term is this percent completed. And there's a toggle right here on the top part of the menu and you can select and the default view is initiated at the moment, but you can switch over and you'll see the colors change. That's because the uh, zones here, the intervals for what each color means has stayed the same. And so when we change the outcome that we're looking at, we see that there's still more work to be done. Uh, we're at 42% of Honolulu County having uh, completed their vaccination. And again, as you pointed out, this does not include those federal agency doses for which we know, at least at the statewide level, there's been over 100,000 of those. So uh, definitely a little bit of undercounting, but as a lower estimate, we can say this is kind of where we stand at the moment. Okay, we've taken a nice long look at the island of Oahu at Honolulu County, but you've got a, a similar view for all the different counties. Yeah, so we can jump over to Big Island. Uh, you see I have percent completed still checked there, so I'll jump back to initiated. And we can kind of cruise around with the hover button and just identify the areas that are on the high end. Um, you can see right there, it lists the zip codes that are included in this little geographic shape. And then on just to the right, it mentions uh, what cities, official uh, Hawaii cities are included. And we can hover around and you can find, you know, your zip code, where you live and see how it's going in your neighborhood. And uh, also from a state planning perspective, this allows us to think through, you know, where maybe we need to generate some mobile vaccination sites, some uh, more creative vaccine events going on to bring the vaccine into the communities where maybe access has been a little bit more limited. Um, we and our partners will continue to work hard to get vaccine out into those communities and, and make vaccine available to those rural communities because that's not a place where you go and set up a big pod. That's where you're really going to have to work harder to administer vaccines. So uh, this map is kind of like a roadmap for us, tells us where we need to get to work. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is rolling out in phases. And so what, ha what worked in phase one, you know, that's now done and we got to shift our thinking and move on into phase two and think about, you know, just as you said, more opportunities for access. Okay, Kauai, what do you got? Yeah, Kauai, Kauai has been leading the pack in terms of all the counties. They're up at 56% countywide initiated. But even then, and wherever we look, we do find differences within the county and some areas uh, having more uptake, more access. Maybe, uh, maybe they're also just more eager and we're willing to drive a little bit further or happen to be closer to a vaccination site. And then some areas, um, still a little work to be done. <laughs> really, really interesting and a great place for people to go and surf around. If you live on the island, you're curious how your community is doing, you, you can go take a look like Maui. Yeah, so in Maui, we see Hana doing really well, Lanai doing really well, uh, and then maybe around central Maui, uh, areas like Haiku. Here we got Makawao, Kula and Kihei uh, still, you know, in that range of 35 to 40%, maybe lagging behind the Maui County average. Yeah, well, good on the folks out in Hana because that's a long way to get out to Hana. But uh, once the vaccine was made available out there, it's pretty obvious that people took advantage of getting themselves vaccinated. 
And, and, and again, uh, people can go here, they can look at the initiated numbers, they can look at the completed numbers. And, and no matter where you live, something you can do if you've been vaccinated is go find a couple of your friends who haven't been vaccinated and, and talk to them about it, friend to friend. Uh, maybe there's some information that you can share uh, that will help them in making their decision. That's right. And, you know, again, thinking back, we've got over half the state vaccinated. So passing that halfway mark, we've seen cases starting to go down. So let's just keep it up and uh, keep encouraging our friends, family, neighbors, loved ones to come along and, and get vaccinated to protect themselves and protect uh, the people they care about. So really the push is on to, to get more people vaccinated so we can continue to enjoy the things um, that we love so much. Like when we reached about 50% recently, the governor said, you don't need the mask outdoors anymore. So that was um, a kind of a reward, so to speak, our byproduct of being so good in Hawaii uh, at respecting one another and getting vaccinated. All right, Josh, hey, we, we appreciate your time. Thanks for the walk through the data. We're up um, at more than 1.5 million, and we look forward to uh, that number just jumping up and increasing uh, daily. So Josh Quint, epidemiologist here with the Department of Health, walking us through the zip code maps, the latest feature on the Disease Outbreak Control Division data dashboard. Thanks everyone for taking the time. Thanks for being so well in protecting one, for, uh, in protecting one another and for care, caring for your friends, neighbors, and loved ones. We'll see you very soon again here on the Weekly Dose.